Speaking of big, whew, Star Trek always promised to boldly go where we'd never gone before. And after more than six TV series and ten films, the latest Trekkie movie goes back to the very beginning. Last night, the Star Trek stars walked the red carpet at the Opera House for the world premiere. And our entertainment reporter, James Tobin, was there to catch all the action. Oh, you've even got a Star Trek haircut by the look of it. Uh, it's good. <laughs> it's got a huge following out there. How many fans turned up at the world premiere? You know, I was hoping it was going to be like a sci-fi convention last night. Everyone dressed up. It wasn't really like that. It got a fairly good turnout of fans, but no one was dressed up. But who was there were the stars. J.J. Abrams, director, producer extraordinaire, who also created Lost. Eric Banner, Spock, Kirk, Bone, Zulu. Plus a whole bunch of Australians, 1,500 Australians packed in to the concert hall at the Opera House for the world premiere. Let's take a look. Tonight, the eyes of the world are on Australia as we host the world premiere of Star Trek here at the Sydney Opera House. On the red carpet tonight, some of the cast, including our very own Eric Banner. Now, I heard that JJ Abrams actually pulled you away from a holiday to get involved in this movie. Um, no, it wasn't a holiday. I was actually in the middle of uh, editing Love the Beast at the time um, and had no plans on acting and I just read the script and uh, figured I couldn't resist. What is your name? My name is James Siberius Kirk. This is one of the biggest franchises in the world. Hardcore fans that love this movie. Are you ready for what's about to unfold? It is true. It's a daunting... Uh, world to enter. We get to see the beginning of the relationship. How did you go about finding that, that level with each other behind the scenes? It's one of the, again, a great blessing of actually liking the people that you work with is that that kind of chemistry that sometimes you have to... Uh, manufacture? Manufacture, thank you very much. Uh, we just didn't have to. And it goes for everybody in the... In the um, Movie? <laughs> I'm in mean, a little bit of a lunch coma right now, yeah. <laughs> You had the chance to actually meet and work with Leonard Nimoy. Was that a huge blessing or was mm. there a bit of pressure there? It was, uh, it was one of the biggest gifts of this whole experience, actually, is getting to know him and, you know, feeling like I can call him a friend. Are you afraid or aren't you? I will not allow you to lecture me. Then why don't you stop me? How did this project first come into your hands? Uh, we were actually doing a sound mix on... Uh, Mission Impossible 3, and, and the people at Paramount asked me if I would be interested in producing Star Trek, and I was never a, a real fan of Star Trek, uh, but the idea of working on a version that actually would interest me was challenging. And ultimately, we came up with a story we liked, and when I read it, I just thought, oh my god, this is, forget that it's Star Trek, this is a movie I would love to see. I read uh, that the visual effects and animation were done by Industrial Light and Magic, George Lucas's That's company. Right. Yes. Did you have a conversation at any point with George mm -hmm. about going and telling the origin story about a sci-fi movie. I did. I, I, I had a long talk with him and I was, you know, obviously hugely curious as to what he would say and his suggestion to me was put lightsabers in it. <laughs> <laughs> Buckle up. The wait is over. Wow, all right. Now, a couple of Aussies. We've got Eric Banner, of course. Chris Hemsworth yeah, is Chris, in it. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth does a great job. He's probably in it for about 15 minutes or so, but he does a fantastic job. And a little bit of news overnight. Our world premiere, it looks like it may have been pipped to the post over in Austin in the States. It looks like Leonard Nimoy might have been at a screening that was shown just hours before our screening. Who cares? They didn't have all the stars. Yeah, that's right. They didn't have the Opera House. Exactly. They did AUST, but then they just actually got Austin instead of Australia. Which is <laughs> that's true. right. Maybe a bit confused. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks for that. Very Thank cool. You. And of course, Barrett's walked the red carpet. Mm. He was out there schmoozing on our behalf. So, Absolutely. yay. Thanks, James. Uh, Thank you. Now you can catch Star Trek in cinemas from the 7th of May.